Number 89, Tom Petty, Into the Great Wide Open. Hmm. I know Tom Petty's 80s stuff is really good. I don't know why his 90s stuff, though. I have to I have to remember which tracks are from his, from the 90s. Some it, some songs in this album include Full Moon Fever and Damn the Torpedoes. I didn't have much exposure in terms of the music of the 90s. Yeah, I mean, I can't think of too much from the 90s because most of my time was dominated in that era, from my memory, by boy bands. Yeah. yeah. That's why I don't know about 90s music myself. I only even heard folks like, uh, focus on, like, one or two bands. Oh, right! Now, this is topical! Number 88, R. Kelly. Ooh. R. Kelly, yep. His, uh, debut album. The remix to Ignition. Oh, God. Who else could sing along inside both Ronnie, Is Ronnie Isley, and Biggie Smalls? Who else could say, You remind me of my Jeep. I want to ride it. Are you not sure whether it was sexist or funny or both? They sound so flying, you never stop grooving. Oh. Can't tell if that's a yes or a no. Doesn't sound good now. Well, that phrasing of that. Yeah. yeah. But, again, try to separate the art from the artist if you can. And appreciate their work. Yep. Well, you'll yeah. be like me and just be under a rock. And just make sure. And just so I'm trying to remember, where the hell is this piece? Hmm. I feel like it was here in a high area. He just got one that was. Oh no, that was somewhere else. No, he was. It was in the right, blue, right. In the blue side. That was on the stairs. The, you, yeah. You didn't check all the way through. I didn't. No. Um. So what I could probably do. I was thinking like, there's not like a piece in like the uh, the stairway area between. Oh, or on the level. Like where the stairway to Hades is, right? I don't think there is. I have to double check. Yeah, you can do it when you come back, I guess. Just make sure you check Sarah thoroughly first. Yep. Ooh. Cause... Okay, cause that's the mushroom. Uh... Ah, I see. You still don't want to deal with them yet? Nope. Press triangle to begin the duel. Nope. And I'll explain, cause like I said, I kind of sort of explained it already, but all the mushrooms do not unlock until after you beat the game. So therefore, they will be handled after the main game is handled. Right. Of course. So, yeah, mushrooms are something that comes after the... The big him. The big one in Disney Castle. Mm-hmm. Sitting in his friggin' high armor throne. Fucking Mickey? <laughs> Would it be too much of a surprise if it was Mickey? They gotta make him a super boss one of these games, man. You know, I, 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 I'm, I'm kind of waiting for the day when they do it. Just to test your skills. And take a frustration out on him. Well, so mostly, let's see what you're made of! <laughs> mostly take a frustration out on him. For how much of a jerk he's been. Um, of how much of an asshole he's been, you mean? Yeah. Just have, alright, so let's see what you're made of! I was gonna say, same turn. I was gonna say, what's the count out so far for him? Uh, who knows. For him, I think it's six. Hmm, six or seven. I haven't saved on document on my computer, and it's up to date this time. Yay! I, I, made sure, I made sure I updated it as I counted it. Yeah. A lot of this assholeness started coming in freaking Now. Uh, the castle that never was. Or the world never was. Well, just now, basically. Yeah, so, yeah. Recently. It's like, oh, same thing, like just so. less yeah. subtle. It's like a See. jerk. You mean asshole. Same thing, just yeah. less subtle. Number 87. De La Soul. De La Soul is dead. With some hits including the disco rap classic, a roller skate jam named Saturdays. Don't know much about either. Well, I do know the rap scene, but I don't remember much about that. So. Well, I mean, mo most of the rap scene was basically, uh, at least in the, in the 90s, most of, or more so, was the, um, the, gangster, the beginning of the gangster rap. So. Yeah. So that's like when Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Ice Cube, like, all that, like, that's when they grew sure. up sure. I'm sure we'll see some of those come yeah. later this Uh, no, was that, that, that was early she... 2000s. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because I know, uh, 50 Cent first started by himself in, like, the very early 2000s. Yeah. And then created a group at which he later. Yeah. Ah, crescendos. Yep, mm-hmm. Yeah. Number 86 here is Yo La Tango. I feel like I've heard of them. I can hear the heart beating as one. Okay. A lot of romantic guitar sounding stuff. Okay. 
including a so song called Stockholm Syndrome. Interesting. Wow. Okay. Wow. Is that what people get from listening to their music? Sorry. Number 85. Pulp. Different class. Why do we get the feeling a majority of the bottom ones are going to be from people we've never even heard of? I mean, yeah. it's top albums of the 90s, so... Is this going in order? Yeah, from oh, worst to best. Supposedly, of the top 100 albums from the 90s. As listed by Rolling Stone, so, you know, they have a vast, you know... Yeah. They're mostly reputable when it comes to knowing music. They have a bias towards Rolling well, Stone, it's but either besides the, that... Either <laughs> them or Billboard. Yeah. I mean, it's almost like their music. People. Yeah. Rolling Stone magazine is a bit of a bias towards Rolling Stones, but besides that... Well, gee, it's almost like that's how they got the name. Yeah. <laughs> like, I remember looking at that top 500 songs of all time list. Number one was fucking, uh, Like a Rolling Stone. Gee, it's almost like... <laughs> it's almost like we're talking... And, like, another two of the top five are Rolling Stone songs. Like, fuck you! Actually, I don't think it will show up, because I'm not really sure if it was a top album. And I remember fucking... More Than a Feeling was number 398. 500 songs of all time... You don't crack that around the top 100. I have to question that. Yeah. That song is super memorable. Yeah, that's my that's my favorite Boston song. Mine is, I may need to listen mine to is four play long time. More than a feeling's up there. What's the name of the song again? More than a feeling. More than a feeling. My Boston. Like realistically, the only band that's named after a city I actually like. Yeah, and their debut album. Because I'll just say this right now: fuck Chicago. Fair enough. I mean... The I, band, I, not the city. Okay. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... Chicago only has, like, one or two songs I'm yeah. all right with, but... Yeah, I'm not a big Chicago fan either. It's just more I can't stand Pia Cetera's voice. Yeah, fair enough. I'm there are bands well. like that where with singers you can't stand, like how I'm not a fan of, uh... Red Hot Chili Peppers for the most part, because I hate their singer. The rest of the band's fine. That's me with, um, whatchamacallit... Um, uh, Avenged Sevenfold. I listened to that one. Just, yeah, I just, see that. I listened to the uh, singer. It sounds like he's having such a. It's like he's like on the verge. Like it doesn't really sound good. I know heavy metal fans that don't like Megadeth for that reason. Yeah. Because Dave Mustaine's voice is very weird. Yeah. But was, that was kind of the same thing. Well, actually, Judas Priest it's not as bad, but I can definitely yeah. feel it. It's not as bad though as like say it's Avenged Sevenfold or something like that. Yeah. If although, just, just, although it's strange because I do like Disturbed, and that's the and that's a weird one for me. Yeah, like, I like Disturbed. Yeah, the one. singer is good. It's just well, too samey. I think is what it is. Yeah, a lot of their song, uh, a lot of their hits it's more sound same. very samey. You can I mean, get into their stuff, it gets you can find some stuff to like, but their hits, a lot of them can sound similar. Yeah, that's kind of like the downside, I guess. I, I like stuff from three of their albums, so you know. I mean, what was it? Um, well, like, Ten Thousand First was Ten Thousand First was the one I. There's 10,000 Miss and there was another one. That album might have been their best. There was another one. There was a recent album I actually really liked. I forget what it was called. I know Indestructible was pretty good. I don't know any of the ones after that, though. Yeah. There was one album that I actually... There was one of the more recent albums that I kind of liked. I forget what it was called, though. I was going to say, if worse comes to worst, uh, can you guys just look up where the hell that third puzzle piece oh, is specifically? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, uh, sure. Oh, right. Look up puzzle pieces for yeah. King of Hearts 2 Final Mix. Yeah. Well, then again, Hill Pieces were only. Oh, wait, no, they were in the original game, right? No, they were not. Oh, they're right, right, right. Oh, they're Final Mixers. They, they are Final Mixers. I, I forgot. I, I watched that since the beginning. I forgot. I thought there was some collectible thing that was in Kingdom Hearts 2 originally. I but, mean, the treasure chest, yes. Ah, well, yeah, okay. So that's technically a collectible. Right, right. Uh, Synthesis materials as well. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, you continue on with that. I'll actually look up the. Yeah. Um, Number 84 on this list Marilyn Manson! Antichrist Superstar. Yeah, I think that was his debut album. Yeah. I'm not the biggest fan of his. He has one or two songs I'm fine with. I'm not the biggest fan of his, though. Yeah. He's weird. Then again, a lot of the metal people during the 90s were. Like, Guar? <laughs> Who remembers Guar? <laughs> For some reason, I kind of... They, they did good shows, though. They did good stage shows. 83. Fiona Apple. Title. It's another name I feel like I've heard of. Such a song. Okay, so like... I got I got two things for you, maybe. Okay. Okay, so number six, location, underworld cavern. Well, it's number three's location. Oh, number three's location. Okay. Underworld cavern's entrance. Underworld cavern's entrance. Hang on, let, let me just show you. 
I would say, we have a map, right? Uh, yeah, pieces, so list. Yeah, I know. There's a number here. It says, Underworld Caverns, entrance, off the ledge, the far side. Required abilities, high jump level 2, so... Hmm. Unless that's going by the order you can get them. No. It oh. says specifically if you can get them in the first visit or not. Oh, okay. Okay, so... Go back to the entrance. It might have been in a corner... Might, yeah, might have been in a corner you didn't notice. Yep. Or tend to look for. Ah, hidden away in plain sight. Gotta love that. Yep. Let's see, number 82 on this list. Ah, Smashing Pumpkins. Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. Okay, I at least know this one. I know Yeah, because I was going to say, uh, 1979, I believe, was on there, and um, Today. Yeah, Today. That's the one I know. Oh, yeah. I think, like I said, I think 1979 is also on there. Yeah. They don't mention those two. They mention Muzzle, though. Because uh, I think Muzzle's, like, one of the biggest ones. Okay, yeah. That's probably why. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, which, being a Smashing Pumpkins, uh, there's a new album that's in the works. And oh, yeah. It is done. It's in, nice. terms of, in terms of songs, it's just they got to do the finalization for right. that. And they're also going on tour with uh, Matchbox 20. Huh, neat. Yes. All right. No, number 81 on this list. I forgot about Bjork. Post by Bjork. All right, so I'm at the Underworld Cavern entrance. Okay, I think I, I, think I know what they're playing at. Oh, I jump off a ledge. It's on the right entrance. Oh, I the light it. could bl blend it in. Yeah, it's possible. Okay. Oh, but high jump max. Hey, right, level three. Yep. So yep. look to your right. All right, there should be a a ledge to climb up. And maybe is it? Is it here? I don't see. It. Hang on. Well, well, let me kill these apples first. Yeah, get the apples out of the way first. Okay. So hang on, just to make sure that I'm in the right place. Cave of the Dead entrance, so I'm guessing that's not it. It said underground entrance, right? Underground entrance. Underworld caverns entrance. Underworld caverns entrance. Okay, so back to the green. Yeah. Okay, all right, we're on the wrong. All right, number eighty on this list: the Breeders. Last splash. Uh, sorry, the Pixies decided to do that. Okay. Number right. seventy-nine. Maybe I should do the album and then the and then the band. B thousand by guided by voices. Which one? Oh, what's the order in? Is it the album and then the artist, or the artist and the album? It's usually the artist and the album. I'm thinking of reversing it because I've been saying the artist and then the album, but it can be a little weird that way. It can be. I especially the album first and then say which by instead okay, of just being so... the artist and what they did. Underworld Caverns entrance. Off the ledge in the far side. Oh, ah! I see it. I see it. Ah. Clever bastard. Ah, behind a pillar. That's why. Yeah, we didn't think about you know turning the camera. Well. Yeah, we usually just try to blindly explore this place, so... Yeah. Alright, so... Let's just gotta work our way over to that. Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna pass by real quick. Just fight every... Oh, wait, you can't... Oh, what's up? Hold on a second. Like, what, why are, oh, wait, you're max form with the Valor form. No point. Yep. <laughs> Number 76. Summer 78, I mean. Okay, I know this one. Definitely Maybe by Oasis. Yep. That was their debut album. Yep. And they were a pretty big band at the time. Yeah. Kind of Honestly, my favorite song is uh, Some Might Say. Okay. Yeah, because huh. I was going to say, if you were expecting Wonderwall, no. You're not a fan of Wonderwall, huh? It's more because I heard it so many names. Yeah, I mean, Wonderwall sounds... I mean, it's... Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> it's still a good song. Don't get me wrong. Just use Glide. What? <laughs> oh, God, I'm like, scared. Oh! I, I do! I was scared for a brief second. There and, we go. Unless I'm like, just Glide. You have the ability. And you have no more reason to be in Valor form anymore, except just right. wonderful. Now we know the puzzle pieces here, and yep. specific fights. And now we know their list for all the puzzle pieces in order of the way they're listed in the thing. So Yay. that makes it easy. Yes. So we're so, not just wandering around like assholes. Yeah. That's good. All right. Well, first, before we close that right. off, um, yep. You do what you gotta do. Yeah. I'm just gonna get rid of that notification. This notification. It's like we're not gonna be running around like headless chickens with our heads stuck up our own ass. <laughs> You mean cut off? I know what I said. <laughs> I know what I said. I know exactly what I said. So I'm going to put those in real quick, all the puzzle pieces oh, I've got so far. Number 77 on this list is Ragged Glory by Neil Young and Crazy Horse. That's perfectly fine where they are, clear. There are some... That's on top of there. There's some blown okay, some tracks, including Love to Burn and Fuck It Up. That's fine. Mean? That's fine. All right, everything else is actually... That's, really... that's not fine, I don't think. Which one? Go up, this? down. That's fine. That's fine. 
Oh god, that's wait. That's, fine. that's perfectly fine. Actually, no, that that one needs to be changed as well. Actually, which one? Um, move to the those. Oh two wait, I pieces. see that. I see that one. There we go. I think that piece as well. Was... Yeah, that piece looks yeah. like it's wrong too. That's right now. Uh, that piece up there needs to be moved. Oh, okay, well. I see what you're talking about. Yep. That looks good. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yep. Yep. And sunset. <laughs> Ooh, some edges. edges. There's some edges, actually. Number 76. Man. Oh, God. Bridges to Babylon by the Rolling Stones. Um, is that, that looks like it belongs up there somewhere. Hmm. Um, I don't know how, though. Be oh, wait. Hang no, on. that's a bottom piece. Hang on. I think I know. There we Aha! go. Aha! There we go. And okay. the rest looks... The rest looks... Oh. I feel like those two pieces right... Right here? That looks Actually, right. that looks right. There that we looks go. perfect. Aha! Uh -huh. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So far, so good. More puzzle pieces! Now, let's go back to Land of Dragons. All right. we have everything in Agrabah? Yep. Oh, right. so let me, let, 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 I'll double check that in the journal. Yep. 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 I, I have Land Dragons open. Let me know where we gotta right. look. Okay. Well, well we do know where one of them is because we spent hours trying to get hit busted up there. <laughs> yeah. To get damage boosted. <laughs> damage <laughs> boosted. Yeah, yep, I went number 76 out on this. Bridges to Babylon by the Rolling Stones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I haven't listened to much Rolling Stones stuff. Yeah, yeah. Despite. Yeah, after gotta, the gotta, 70s, gotta, okay. they get really generic to me. Okay. So, back to the Land Dragons, yeah. let's go. After the 70s, the Rolling Stones just start sounding very generic to me. Like, the way my rock music history teacher put it, he said, they were having to be one of the best adapters of music of all time. So they copied what everybody else did. <laughs> ah. Yeah, that, I mean, there's a talent wasn't that, it, but... Wasn't that the same music history teacher that told you there's three different types of artists in the world? The, well, that can make their own. Was, was, was that are deceased, like Jimi Hendrix? Uh, those are living, like un, Bieber. Unfortunately. Living legends that uh, no longer exist. And those are undead, like Keith Richards. Yep. <laughs> and everyone else who just steals from everyone else. Yeah. Yep.